Today we're going to preview the 2024 National Championship game between the Pac-12 and the Big Ten. Is Washington going to take it before the Pac-12 gets dissolved? Or is the Big Ten in Michigan going to have their first championships in 2014 and usher a new era for this expanded conference? Hey, B, what are, you, what are your thoughts? Well, well, well. I think that if Michigan can run the ball like they've been doing all year, right? Blake Corum leads FBS with 25 rushing touchdowns. If they stick to the ground game, Washington's running defense is not good, right? Uh, we've seen that in the semifinals versus Texas. And, you know, pains me to say this, but, you know, if Steve Sarkeesian could have stuck to the run game, I think that game would have had a different outcome. Um, but I think Michigan has the chance to play clock management, run the ball, keep the ball out of Michael Penick's hands because he's a, he's good. He's good, bro. He's very yeah. good. Um, I think they have the chance to win this game. And as you see, they're already favored by four and a half right now. So, so for me, I think uh, Washington, I would go with Washington in this game here. And the reason I would go with Washington is because their offense is very dynamic. Um, Penix was 19 to 21, hitting his receivers uh, for like 353 yards. And that's not, you know, including, you know, hitting the running backs and the tight end. Uh, I mean, and he has three lethal wide receivers. Even though Michigan won the game, I still wasn't very impressed with their offense. I know that they, they probably could run the ball. Uh, but I think if Washington can get ahead of them and put the game solely on the shoulders of J.J. McCarthy, I think that Michigan will have a hard time scoring the ball. Um, and as far as Michigan's defense, yes, they affected Bama, but Bama was Bama was 129 in sacks allowed this year. Uh, but Washington's offensive line won the Joe Moore Award, so they're going to have a harder time getting to Michael Penix as they did getting to Jalen Miro. And if they can affect if they can affect Penix, it could sway the game, but Penix is, is a six year veteran, right? And it's nothing that you can throw at him that he hasn't seen. And I just think he's gonna I think he's gonna lead Washington to their first uh, title in a while. Yeah, man. That's the strength of both teams right there is the line, right? So Michigan's defensive line they look good against Bama. They wreaked havoc. But like you said, Bama's offensive line is, is not what it what it's been in the past. So they're gonna face a good unit up front. Now, if they can put pressure on Pennings and play Michigan style football, which is a lot of run, eat the clock up, right? Michigan has a really good chance of winning. But if they get in a shootout, man, I'm gonna go with the who we've seen game after game win those shootouts, which is Washington, right? Even, I think if it comes, it becomes a uh, offensive game and they're trying to push the ball down the field and they're trying to, you know, Michigan gets behind, they can't, they don't, they can't score fast enough to like Washington can. So I'll, I think I'm going to go, I'm either way, but I'm leaning towards Michigan and their defense to play well against Washington's phone up. And I'm taking uh, I'm gonna take Michigan on the four and a half. Yeah, well, I think you know one of the things that Ryan alluded to was um, getting pressure on Michael Penix, right? One of the issues is right because Texas did a decent job at getting pressure, but he gets the ball out of his hands so quick, man. You know, there's not enough time. There's little, you know, you're not getting coverage sacks on him. It's not gonna happen because they're not running a lot of complex routes or long developing routes for the wide receivers so you know these guys will you know he's three step dropping getting the ball out of his hand quick and there were times when we do that we did get pressure Washington also I think one of the reasons that they won the Joe Moore War for the best is because they run a lot of plays where they move the pocket um, to avoid because they're you know if you look at their two interior linemen they're not very heavy guys those guys only weigh about 265 uh 270 right so 
it's easy if you got a guy like me at Tavondre Sweat pushing this guy back. But when you're moving the pocket, it makes it easier for those guys that are blocking the cycles. And then keys to victory for uh <laughs> for Michigan. He might be pending on the sideline, man. <laughs> you know, the more times you get him on the field, he's uh he played an amazing game against a really good SEC defense. There are some small window throws that he made that, I mean, he he stepped up and played to this caliber that everybody expected that, that he is at in the biggest stage. So, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's tough yeah. to pick against him, man. It's tough to pick against him. But, like, I'm, you know, I guess my mentality is that old school run the ball, win at the line of scrimmage, and you should win the game, right? <laughs> control, yeah. control the clock. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a good game. Yeah, don't be a good game. Yeah, it's a. When's the last time we saw a national championship game without the SEC? You know, that's a lot of people were, you know, upset about it. It's good to see two teams that we haven't seen in a, in a while. Oh, yeah. The last time we seen that when it was, it was that? When uh, when uh, it was Florida State and uh, Ohio State. Ohio State. Yeah. I mean, yeah. no, no, Ohio State or Oregon. I'm sorry. Ohio State and Oregon. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, because that's the year that um, Oregon beat Florida State. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a good one. Yeah. I hate to say it. It pains <laughs> me. It pains me. Well, that does it for this episode. Go ahead and like, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know how we're doing. Y'all take it easy out there.